our founding father, Dr. Kwame Krumah, Saji Fu, Dr. Kwame Krumah. He was dreaming and trying to picture vessels tooting their horns and vessels coming in to cut his cocoa and bring in the imported goods. A few years later, his dream was realized. Meridian Port Services is a partnership between Ghana Ports and Harbor Authority and Meridian Port Holdings, which in turn is a joint venture between APM Terminals and Polar Transport and Logistics. Today's event triggers a material start of the execution of the deed signed between Ghana Ports and Harbor Authority and Meridian Port Services back in June 2015. We have selected top contractors, consultants, and we will be placing strong emphasis on local content. I must also express my profound appreciation to the International Finance Corporation, IFC, for their leading role in the project finance, along with their syndicating banks, contractors, and many other stakeholders. Today, we are launching the Marine Engineering Works for the expansion project, which will fundamentally change Ghana's position in West Africa's maritime industry. By the time it's finished, this seaport will be a world-class facility that could match capacity of world-renowned ports and compete most favorably with the largest port on this continent. We believe that after this massive upgrade and with its ad geographical advantage, Tama Port will indeed be positioned at the maritime hub for trade along the west coast of Africa. This day is indeed a very happy day. The extension of the Tema Harbour is now going to link up with the rest of the world. This expansion is truly a dream come true. Yeah. And we must all support it for it will accelerate the growth of the import and export industry of Madagana and the whole of the world. Yeah! That's good news. My friends, eh? is that this project I heard is going to create 5,000 direct jobs. 5,000? Yes. And not only that, it is also going to create 450,000 new jobs for all Ghana. Oh, 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 oh. That is good news. Well, well yes. said, my children. Wow. Well said, my yes. children. But uh, tell me, me, um, you've heard your country, uh, fellow countrymen. So what is your take in all this? Anokwale. Echi o manye ke miche sandi. A ke mene gbene. A bani abadu ne ke adwawa wune ye washipo nene. Oh. Nke, eba ye bwa wobi. Wana bi. Ke wana na kanswa. Ano kwale. Ne ba ha che majin fe. Ke gana anachapa. It's a giant step. It's the biggest private non-oil investment project ever in Ghana. And again, Ray. A lot more than $103. It will expand the capacity of what can be handled here by fourfold and it will improve the lives of, I think, millions of people over its lifespan. Today, thanks to hard work and determination, I'm very pleased to see the first start of the massive breakwater that could give birth the giant and I like the noise of these trucks delivering the rocks. As Bolloré Transport and Logistics Company and a leading player in Africa in port industry, we are very proud to carry out this 1.5 billion US dollar project together with our partners GPHA and APMT. This project aims to make Ghana the maritime hub for the sub-region by offering the global economy the best seaport on West Africa coast. This is crucial. Has take, this crucial project has taken some time to reach this point. 
due to its sheer scale and extravagance. The expansion plan for the thermal port is cornerstone and foundation of GPAJ master plan. Your Excellency, there has also been substantial investment in the fishing hub, including wreck removal to make space for commercial fishing vessels, reconstruction of the net mending wharf, dredging of the canoe for local fishermen and assessment of potential coastal fish ports and fish landing sites. Other ancillary projects, such as the construction of a 130-bed international maritime hospital, is almost complete with helicopter landing facilities. And this will make the GPHA hospital. This will take it to the level to the level one status, which has never been seen in this country in the West African region as a whole. Now, all these new developments require a new trend of labor force in terms of quantity and quality. Therefore, a new state of the art training facility with modern simulators is therefore planned to be built, to be built to develop the capacity of the workforce according to the new manpower requirements in the industry. Today marks another major milestone in the history of Ghana's maritime industry as we gather here to launch the biggest expansion in our history of Tema Port. Four years ago, we launched a manifesto in which we expressed our commitment to promote the development and use of our seaports and airports and boost the capacity to accommodate our ever increasing international trade. When this project is completed and operating at full capacity, the expanded Tema port will be able to handle over 3.5 million TEUs. The completion of this project will make Tema port one of the most efficient ports with quickest turnaround times in the whole of Africa. The port will be able to handle vessels up to 360 meters long. The current port is able to handle vessels only up to 170 meters. It is expected that about 5,000 new direct jobs will be created. The overall economic impact will translate into approximately 400,000 new jobs along the whole maritime transport chain. The International Finance Corporation is the lead arranger of the financing for this massive infrastructural project. I am informed that the financing package of 1.5 billion for the construction of this new port facility in Tema represents the IFC's largest port investment project and the biggest infrastructure mobilization project to date in Sub-Saharan Africa. And on behalf of the good people of Ghana, I now have the honor and privilege to declare the start of construction of the Tema Port Expansion Project duly launched.